So here's the thing. Tia takes forever. Okay, the maids, right? They're smokers. They're old. They're impatient. They're morons. Um, we've gotten kicked out of a place like this we used to live at in Houston, Texas, back in like 2012, 2013. Tia didn't want to get out of the shower. This time I didn't blame her, but I do blame her. Actually, no, I do blame her. The but it was a, it was also the the crappy place's fault too. Well, here let me explain what's happening here. She doesn't want to get out of the room because she wants to, you know, wake up in the morning. Like when we wake up, it's not even the morning; it's like eleven forty. Which I wake up, I just put my clothes on, I get out, and I'm in the car ready, right? So the maids want to clean, and then you know they give us a lot of leeway. You know they give us a lot of time, but they're impatient too. You know they're like they're not gonna do it. They're always getting mad at you because she don't want to. She takes forever to leave. Like right now, she didn't want to. She didn't want to. She wants to acclimate her arm and her herself when she wakes up. Um, so I'm saying, if we get kicked out, it's probably because of this. And um, there's a little thing, like I said, the maids are more understanding. They're not because they're they're not just maids. They're also the co. They're also like owners. So they're like because they know we've been here the longest. Like we stay here, you know. Like we live here. It's like 330 a week. So, anyways, we used to live at this one in uh, in uh, in Houston, and uh, the water when you shower it drips down to the to the to the, to the neighbors, right? So it's their pro pro problem. And uh, she didn't want to get out of the shower. They called the person, the low call, the management or whatever the people. And so one of the guys came up and started knocking on the door to get out of the to get to open the door to the room to see like what we're doing or whatever. Where we just only had the shower on. And Tia didn't want to get out of the shower because she's uh, moronic like that. She didn't want to. I'm telling you guys to get out. They, this guy wants to like break down the door for some reason because uh, I guess the water's leaking. Like, whatever. But he's like banging on the door. Like I'm like she's in the shower. I'm not gonna let you in. And I'm like I'm telling her Tia to get out of the shower. But I'm not gonna let this dumbass in just because she don't want to get out of the shower. You know she's still in there in the shower. So I'm like Tia, do I, uh, what you know? What's what do I do? Why don't you get out of the shower? And, uh, and he's like, nah, nah, let me. I'm like, bro, I'm like, no, she's in the shower. I'm not going to let you in, you dumbass. So then we got kicked out. They didn't want to give us our money back, which was like a week or two of rent, just like it is here. Anyways, uh, so I go downstairs, long story short, the next morning or whatever. Look, look, the maid right now, she's getting like super mad. Like, she's staring at me right now. Like, what the hell? Where is Tia? So I don't know if I should honk or whatever. But anyways, if we get kicked out, we're probably going to move. She, I think she said Georgia, then she changed it to... She said Georgia, then she changed it to uh, L.A. I don't know. I don't care. I, the reason why I moved here in Miami in the first place is because of her dumb ass. So, yeah. <clears throat> and also the reason I moved to Houston that time when I left Brownsville was because... Um, was because um, of her. She wanted to leave because her mom had gotten cancer. So then we're like, okay, we'll go to Houston. Then we went to Houston. So, um, yeah. Like I said, we leave again or anything like that. It's because of her again, not because of me. I don't, I don't care about that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, she's just taking forever right now. Um, so we got kicked out. I went downstairs. They didn't want to give us their money back. So I called the cops. And the cops said, oh, bad business. That I shouldn't just don't just don't use bad business. But if they're bad business, why are they in existence? You know, like you're a, you're a freaking cop, you know. But um, long story short, the next morning... They, had, they, they did kick us out, but I did get I managed to get my money back because I wasn't going to leave there. I wasn't going to leave the front office. I was going to be basically uh, annoying the shit out of them all day if they didn't give me my money back. And and I would have called the cops again. Um, so they did give me the money back. And, and it's because, like, the night, the night before, we're like, man, if they don't get the money back, we're going to be homeless because I had never been homeless uh, before that. But I hadn't been in 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 in, uh, in the future. I wasn't really homeless until Las Vegas, because like we went to a show. We went to go look at a shelter. 
um, that night they said that they were kicking us out. We were like, let's go look at a shelter. And then there was a bunch of like homeless people sleeping outside the shelter and all that. But it was dumb because we had a car. Like we didn't, <laughs> I didn't know at the time you could just sleep in your car or whatever, right? Because when we, when I was homeless in Vegas, they just slept in the car. You know what I mean? I just slept in the car. Like she's not, she's not getting on the door right now. The maid. So I just, I just slept in the car. She's just shaking her like, no, yeah, no, I have to live with that thing. Look, she's done. Well, yeah, like in Vegas, I, like, <laughs> but they're like I said, they're more chill here because they already know T is mental. They, I already think I already told them, but they already know. I'm like, man, she's always like, she's always like that. But um, what was I saying? Anyways, I got the money back. We went to go look at the shelter. <sighs> She is done right now, I think, but she's just, I don't know, she's still inside. Like, she has the door open, but. Um, when you go look at the shelters, and then when, like, those people sleeping outside on the floor, I'm like, oh, we have a car. But I didn't think about that time, like, oh, we could just sleep in the car, but we we're like, we're gonna, see, we're gonna sleep here if we, we don't get the money back, blah, blah, blah. And we were, like, all sad and shit. Um, and then later on in Vegas, it was a lot harder to sleep homeless without the car you know what i'm saying like when they took the car and coolio uh it was i was really sad i was really sad and i started crying and i was like ah. and uh i saw this one guy on youtube he made like a huge he made like a house he made his home inside of a storage unit if you look up on youtube this guy made his living space inside a storage unit like really nice lights everything bedroom like <laughs> you should look at that look at storage unit room uh storage unit uh living in storage unit and it'll come out it's like the most famous video about it so i was like oh i'll just do that but now in vegas in vegas they're legit like they are by the rule book 100 percent everything by the rules to where many people will think they're being rude like i thought they were just being rude like i'm from texas even and texas you know people will be actually rude to you but there, I thought they was being rude. And the same other people from Texas, they're like, these people are rude. I'm like, no, they're not rude. rude. They're just following the rules. They're like, they're very strict. That's what it is. In Vegas, they're very strict. They're like, no, yeah, you got to do that. I mean, you know, like, they're very strict with the rules. So, anyways, they, were, they came up, they saw, <laughs> they saw Tia sleeping, and then they thought they're <laughs> leaving the, the storage unit. But, um, but yeah, man. It was, I was sad, like I said, I was crying, and then, uh, I saw, like, a bunch of pigeons come over, like, to, like, that's why I stopped crying, I saw, like, a bunch of pigeons coming over to me, like, to comfort me or whatever, and I was just like, what the hell's going on, because, you know, like, it changes your mind when you see something spiritual, like, you're like, oh, you forget that you're living in a, in a spiritual realm also, you know what I mean, so that's what changed my mind, like, oh, so as I stopped crying, I was like, what the hell are these birds doing? A bunch of them were excited coming closer to me, like, like walking, like, I was like, <coughs> I was like, what in the hell is going on? Yeah, man, it was crazy, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, like, subscribe, and share, man. Check links in the description. Peace out. T is calm.